Hey, what's going on guys? Dano from ModBot and today I am super excited to show you guys what I've got right here and hopefully you guys can see it. So today I'm super excited to show you guys what I got in from Micro Swiss. Um, Micro Swiss is a pretty awesome company um, located in the United States that I reached out to. Um, they actually, I believe, are the ones that made the original hot end that all of the uh, Ender 3 and CR10s uh, that Creality basically ripped off and made their clone versions and that have been selling with the machines. Um, I might be incorrect with that, uh, but I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments down below if that's the case. But from what I understand, Micro Swiss is the originators of that style of hot end. So at work, I've been expanding and printing with some materials I haven't printed them with before, um, one of them being a Tallman nylon material. This kind of inspired me or made me really want to try out some of these other filaments because I've been printing for, again, four, four and a half years now, but my palette of different materials that I printed in is pretty minimum compared to all the crazy filaments that are available out there. And I've got this carbon fiber PETG stuff. I've also got a spool of nylon up there um, that have just been sitting there for quite a while and I can't uh, currently really print them on any of my printers uh, except for one, they've all got PTFE lined hot ends, meaning that they've got like a Bowden tube inside of the actual heat sink. You can print really well with those hot ends, but you are limited with your temperatures. Uh, the max temperature you can reach is roughly 240-ish. You can push it to 250, but you might have issues with burning the, uh, the lining and uh, ultimately damaging your hot end. So I reached out to Micro Swiss because um, I wanted the easiest experience and setup for my Ender 3 to be able to print in these exotic filaments. So things like wood fill, things like glow in the dark, things like metal fill, carbon fiber fill, glass fill, um, higher temperature stuff like nylon. And I love my Ender 3 and it's been an awesome machine. All I've done to it again is the BuildSack flex plate and the uh, BL touch on there. But I thought this would be a really, really awesome hot end to throw on there and one that I think a lot of you guys would be really interested in as well because it doesn't require you to print out a custom mount. It doesn't require you to really make a whole lot of changes on the hardware side. It's kind of almost plug and play. It's as easy as taking off the existing hot end, all of the screw holes are gonna line up, put in the new one, and you are ready to rock and roll. So I'll do a little close up of what actually comes in the box. So you've got an aluminum heat sink, We've got an aluminum heater block. We've got a, this is a titanium heat break. And so this basically is what separates your hot end from your cold end or your heat sink from your heater block. And this is what you do not want um, heat climbing up. Reason being is if heat climbs up, you got filament melting too far up and that will give you some serious clogs. So titanium is an awesome material that does a really good job of keeping the cool cool and the hot hot. So um, really awesome. And we've also got a brass plated wear resistant nozzle which just comes in a 0.4, so nothing that we're not used to. 0.4 is the size that I print all of my stuff in, uh, basically. And uh, yeah, this is what is going to allow us to print in the abrasive materials. So with this guy alone, and if I just threw this nozzle on there, I'd be able to do a lot of the stuff like the st uh, steel filled PLAs and the wood fill and the glow in the dark stuff. But due to the rest of it and it becoming all metal now, it's also got a nice little silicone sock for your um, heat block. Uh, again, it'll allow us to print in a lot of those um, abrasive or exotic filaments um, that require high temperatures. Uh, like Matter Hacker's Nylon X or Nylon G or um, really any nylons out there. Um, PETG, I've been printing PETG on my Ender 3 but lower than I would normally print it at so now I can raise the temperatures higher when I install this. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Link will be in the description to where you can find this or purchase one uh, for yourself or read up on it a little bit more. I will take you guys through the install process which will be a relatively easy process. I do have a BL Touch mounted on my Ender 3, so it'll be a little bit different than what yours would be like, but very, very similar. And then in another video, we will print some of those uh, abrasive materials and see how the Ender 3 is able to hang. So hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to smack the like button. Let's try to get like 50 likes on this video. Um, that'd be awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I am out. Peace guys.